This is Friday, May the 6th of 2022. Tonight we join together to pray night prayers from the New Zealand prayer book. Let us be still. The angels of God guard us through the night and quieten the powers of darkness. The spirit of God be our guide to lead us to peace and to glory. It is but lost labor that we haste to rise up early and so late take rest and eat the bread of anxiety. For those beloved of God are given gifts even while they sleep. My brothers and sisters, our help is in the name of the eternal God who is making heavens, the heavens and the earth. <clears throat> Dear God, thank you for all that is good for our creation and for our humanity, for the stewardship you have given us of this planet earth, for the gifts of life and of one another, for your love, which is unbounded and eternal. O thou most holy and beloved, my companion, my guide upon the way, my bright evening star, we repent the wrongs we have done. We have wounded your love. O God, heal us. We stumble in the darkness. Light of the world, transfigure us. We forget that we are your home. Spirit of God, dwell in us. Eternal spirit, living God, in whom we live and move and have our being, all that we are, have been, and shall be is known to you, to the very secret of our hearts and all that rises to trouble us. Living flame burn into us, cleansing wind blow through us, Fountain of water, well up within us, that we may love and praise in deed and in truth. Eternal Spirit, flow through our being and open our lips, that our mouths may proclaim your praise. Let us worship the God of love. Alleluia, alleluia. Tonight's psalm is Psalm 23, found on page 612 in the Book of Common Prayer. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. He revives my soul and guides me along right pathways for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. <clears throat> you spread a table before me in the presence of those who trouble me. You have anointed my head with oil and my cup is running over. Surely your goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Continuing on page five, a reading from Matthew. <clears throat> Do not ask anxiously, what are we to eat, or what are we to drink? What are we to wear? The whole world runs after such things. Set your heart and mind on God's commonwealth and justice first, and all the rest will come to you as well. So do not be anxious about tomorrow. Today has enough problems of its own. Tomorrow can look after itself. The bottom of page five. Into your hands, O God, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O God of truth and love. Keep me, O God, as the apple of an eye and hide me under the shadow of your wings. Together, 
praying the antiphon for ordinary days and then the song of Simeon. Preserve us, O God, while waking and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep may rest in your peace. Praise be to God, I have lived to see this day. God's promises fulfilled and my duty done. At last you have given me peace, <clears throat> for I have seen with my own eyes the salvation you have prepared for all nations. A light to the world in its darkness and the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to God, sustaining, redeeming, sanctifying, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. <clears throat> Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Together, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. <clears throat> the middle of page seven. I will lie down in peace and take my rest. For it is in God alone that I dwell unafraid. Let us bless the earth maker, the pain bearer, the life giver. Let us praise and exalt God above all forever. May God's name be praised beyond the furthest star, glorified and exalted above all forever. At this time, I invite you to unmute and let us offer prayers and thanksgiving. For sis. Bobby. For Anita. For Kathy, Norm, and Belinda. For Doris. Carolyn. For Pan. Pan, the father. For Philip, Father. Emerson, and William. Susan. Barbara, Sebastian. For Bud. And Ann. And Ann. For Ann. Doris. Give thanks to each family and for the conference center. For those affected by the weather. Bill and Gina. For Carla. For Kathy. For Fane, John. the people of Ukraine and for the countries surrounding them that are taking in the refugees Amen. to that land. Oh God, we offer our prayers to you. Amen. 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 Together, let us pray the general thanksgiving. Eternal God, compassionate and merciful, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all people. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. <clears throat> but above all, for your boundless love in the redemption of the world by our Savior, Jesus Christ for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us that due sense of all your mercies that our hearts may be truly thankful and that we praise you not only with our lips, but in our lives by giving ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our day days through Jesus Christ, our redeemer to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor, all honor and glory 
now and forever. Amen. Together, let us pray prayer three. Be present, Spirit of God, within us, your dwelling place and home, that this house may be one where all darkness is penetrated by your light, all troubles calmed by your peace, all evil redeemed by your love, all pain transformed in your suffering, and all dying glorified in your risen life. Amen. God, our creator, our center, our friend, we thank you for our good life, for those who are dear to us, for our dead, and for all who have helped and influenced us. We thank you for the measure of freedom we have and the extent to which we control our lives. And most of all, we thank you for the faith that is in us, for our awareness of you and our hope in you. Keep us, we pray you, thankful and hopeful and useful until our lives shall end. Amen. The blessing of God, the eternal goodwill of God, the shalom of God, the wildness and the warmth of God be among us and between us now and always. The divine spirit dwells in us. Thanks be to God.